George Mason University's College of Visual and Performing Arts has made a strong commitment to create paths that connect our talented Mason students and faculty to the community at large. Through the leadership of William Reeder, Dean of the College of Visual and Performing Arts, and a generous donation from the late Don and Nancy Delasky, the Potomac Arts Academy was established to help build the needed structures for meaningful and sustainable community engagement. I think the whole idea of, of uh, having art in daily life is just so attractive and so personally meaningful that uh, making that part of my professional journey then just was a natural consequence. Coming to George Mason, oftentimes uh, college programs have prep schools and that's seen as preparing the next generation of students to come to the university. But what we have found in the last 15, 20 years is that uh, the grown-ups want exactly the same thing for themselves as they do for their children. And so you really have intergenerational education and that then feeds on itself and, and adults and children, young and old, professional, amateurs, uh, it creates a tremendously exciting community that uh, elevates everybody. And so uh, I, I knew that we were poised to take that on here because the university is so integrated with the region, with the community. And uh, we got some funding from the Delasky Family Foundation. And uh, what is it now, seven years later, we have a couple thousand people uh, engaged in art in their daily lives. I wanted something new to do that would get me out of what I felt like was a kind of rut, so um, I wanted to try piano again, and so I came here. I've been taking violin lessons for about two years now. Well, most of the times, um, me and my violin teacher, we work on scales, and then we um, do other warm-ups and exercises, and then we get on to our fun pieces. I would have to say Vivaldi is my favorite. I love your outreach programs. I love that you guys are about going in the community and giving back and allowing people young, old, to experience music um, that maybe otherwise would not get the chance to, whether it's financially or uh, transportation, they can get out here. Um, I just love that because I feel like if an organization is not willing to do that, to get out there in the community and say, hey, you know, this is what we can do. Um, what happens with the next generation if they have no love of the arts or no love of music? I'm out here at George Mason with 53 of our wonderful fourth, fifth, and sixth graders uh, because we share in a wonderful partnership or collaboration actually with George Mason University's Potomac Arts Academy. And through this project, wonderful people in uh, the uh, fine arts department here at George Mason uh, come out to our community and we come here to George Mason to be involved in the art and drama and dance and music. Our children are number one getting to be guest conductors. They will try to be involved in some percussion themselves. They will be walking and looking at the university, many of them having never seen George Mason before, seeing a dormitory, seeing what it's like to be in this world. I feel very strongly about teaching the person as opposed to teaching the musician. I think that when you teach a person that the music comes and that um, being here at the Potomac Academy allows me to do that. Um, there are so many students here who I think are m incredible musicians simply because the teachers here care about them. and so. I'm just very, very glad to be a part of that. What began as a small but important initiative in the School of Music with five summer programs over 10 years ago has exploded over the past five years into classes, private lessons, summer programs, and in-school service programs in the areas of music, theater, visual arts, dance, and computer game design that currently serves over 2,200 registrants. I 
Acting for Young People joined forces with Potomac in 2012, and we bring with us 15 years of experience with summer programs, acting classes, after school programs, and school tours, and we really are better together. Now Potomac and AFYP families truly can have all of the arts at their fingertips. Higher education in general has done a terrific job in creating some of the best artists in the world. But we have not done a comparatively good job in teaching these artists how to engage and advocate for the arts we love. At Potomac, we are working to change these patterns by providing programs that not only serve the community in significant and enriching ways, but also provide an outlet for our Mason students majoring in an arts discipline to actively engage with the public, and not just in a performance or gallery venue, but through the process of learning how to teach and hone their skills to communicate and advocate. These programs are not designed to only serve a select population of gifted young artists, but to reach all spectrums of our society, including all ages, skill levels, and social economic backgrounds. Moving back to this area to start my graduate degree and really wanting to teach again and not knowing where to be put in touch with you and Potomac Arts Academy has been priceless um, because we're, I feel like we're welcome here, we're wanted, and it gives us a chance to work with students that we wouldn't otherwise you know, probably have coming into our homes. One of my favorite programs that Potomac has developed is Instruments in the Attic, perhaps our most well-known community venture. This instrument donation program was started by a Mason alum who continues to give back to his alma mater. It helps supply Mason music students who needed to learn to play and have access to a number of different musical instruments and became the impetus for our in-school and after-school service programs. Through solicited instrument donations from the public, we have collected over 200 instruments, fulfilled the School of Music's needs, and have established programs that serve the community at large. It's a great win-win for everybody. We're recycling instruments, providing Mason music students and faculty with incredible teaching opportunities, and giving back to the community and schools, especially those members of our underserved populations. I think what's emerging now is how central this needs to be and will turn out to be for higher education. That in fact, uh, preparing our students for the experience of art in the community and interacting with people uh, that aren't necessarily already in the arts universe is a very big part of future careers. So it's becoming, I think, central to the enterprise. Come join us. Take a class. Take a private lesson. Visit our campus. Come to a performance. There are so many ways that you can get involved with the arts at Mason. Visit our website at www.potomacacademy.org where we bring the arts right to your fingertips.